Next, Visa contactless cards. Millions have got one. Barclays were one of the first to introduce them. Contactless technology from Barclay Card, making payments simpler. Yes, the bank introduced its contactless debit and credit card three years ago now, and others followed suit. They allow holders to pay for goods worth under £15 in stores around the country just by holding them up to an electronic reader. It's quick, it's convenient, and most importantly, according to the banks, it's secure. Oh, no, it isn't. Criminals can lift your name, number and expiry date and then begin using your card. Not what Barclays promised. There are already plenty of places in the UK where contactless payments can be made. What about security? With no PIN, there's other technology in place that guarantees your card won't be misused. Sounds good, and plenty of customers take full advantage. But as Thomas Cannon from Mobile Security Specialists via Forensics has now proved, those customers are potentially at risk. In our opinion, the information is not safe enough. All it takes for me to do is to stand next to somebody and in just a few seconds I can wave my phone over their bag and take out their details, uh, their name, the credit card number and the expiry. So, how is it done? Well, if you have an Android smartphone that's fitted with a near-field communication chip, it's capable of lifting the information off someone else's card. How easily? Well, look at this. A crowded lift of BBC employees, a watchdog researcher, Erica, and hold those doors, here comes the expert. Did you miss it? Here it is again. All Thomas had to do was to take out his phone and hold it next to Erica's bag. The result? Hi, so I was in the lift for only a few seconds, less than 30 seconds, and in that time, I know that the lady standing next to me was a Miss Gornell, and I have a full credit card number here and expiry date as well. In fact, it takes just a couple of seconds, and as well as Barclays cards, his latest tests show that cards issued by Lloyd's TSB are also vulnerable to this sort of theft. Now, not all smartphone users can do this. It takes some technical know-how, but according to Thomas, there are lots of criminals who are capable. The big question is, once they have this information, what can they do with it? OK, what can they do? Well, in theory, the financial damage should be limited because the phone doesn't pick up the three-digit security number on the back of the card. But as Channel 4 News revealed a few days ago, one of the biggest online operators, Amazon, doesn't ask for that three-digit code. So when we went on the Amazon site, we were able to use the details lifted from Erica's cards to order goods that could have run into hundreds of pounds. And what do the banks have to say? Well, Barclays are adamant this problem is not specific to them. And we should say that the company who carried out the test say all Visa cards are built to the same standard. So, in theory, are just as vulnerable. They just haven't had time to test them all yet. Barclays say that, to their knowledge, no customers have fallen victim to this type of fraud, but their security is a top priority, and the company is happy to implement any changes the industry feels is needed. And Lloyd's TSB? Well, they also say cardholder security is a priority and want to reassure customers that the contactless payment method is safe. Both banks, along with Visa, say that no one is able to lift other vital information from the card, such as a signature or security code. They say it's up to retailers to ensure they have the required security procedures in place to protect against fraud.